everybody. Okay, here we are. First day of week six of my interval training. Just so happened to find myself in Fairbanks, Alaska for this training. But anyhow, training's been going real good. Uh, feel like I'm making excellent progress, but let's keep it going. No idea where I'm gonna go. I don't know the roads here, but I'm just gonna do an out and back probably. All right, stay tuned. Street art here. Huh, pretty cool. Interval number two. Yeah. Pretty wild. I like this. Pretty nice little biking running trail park right here in the middle of town. Nice. All right, that's two of the three intervals completed. That was the longest of the three. Feeling pretty good. Uh, I was ready for it to stop, but I was ready for it, that makes sense. Um, this training, in my opinion, absolutely works. It's getting me there, it's getting me where I need to be. But anyhow, just a little mid, mid to exercise update. Doing good, doing good, almost done. five seconds let's finish strong I got this feeling good yeah all right that was awesome okay that was the last run interval of today this part of the walking is like fast walk it's still part of the program they don't have my actual cool down. But yeah, we did it guys. I tell you what, each time I complete one of these days, that when I read it ahead of time, it looks harder. And I think to myself, man, I don't know if I got it. And then somehow you do. I feel like, you know, the training's working. And then you just gotta have, you gotta dig down inside and say, you're gonna do it. Um, I've got goals. This is part of the plan for me to reach my goal. I'm not gonna quit, I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna do it. All right, awesome. Love and life. Okay, we're all done. Day one of week six, Fanit. Uh, feeling really good. Uh, one point of uh, something to pay attention to, I guess, when you're in a new town, a new area. Like I said, I try and just do out and backs from where I'm parked so I can find my way back. I actually made one turn on this program, and when I was on my last interval running back, I missed it. So now I'm doubling back. Kind of funny. Oh well, means I get more steps in, right? It's all good. 
Uh, fortunately, it's early. Uh, it's about 6.30 now, which is when I wanted to be back to my truck, so I'll be about five minutes late. Uh, not a big deal. But yeah, if you're following along on my little series, I really appreciate it. Uh, give me some words of encouragement or whatever. Share this with friends. I'm just trying to share with everybody that, you know, even though I was or still am an out of shape, over the road, long haul truck driver, you can always find time and plans to get healthier, to get better uh, between eating better, which is probably the hardest thing, but also this kind of exercise. We can always find 30 to 45 minutes a day to do something. So anyhow, thanks a lot. We'll see you uh, uh, probably Wednesday for the next video. Y'all take care, be good, be fit, be healthy, be kind. All right, everybody, here we are. Week six, day two of my interval training for my couch. It's a 5K couch to marathon, truck driver to marathon. Still haven't figured out our name. Taking suggestions. Anyhow, uh, I find myself back in Federal Way, Washington. Uh, last video I was up in Fairbanks. And yeah, I'm back down here at the yard and get ready to start my run. Today looks a little challenging, but I think based off like I have been saying, the way the plan's been preparing me for each increase, Just about perfect weather for this. It's beautiful out. Wow. I think I might have overdid it. On that first interval, pace was a little faster than normal. But I was feeling good, so I went for it. I'm on my first recovery. Yeah, definitely went too hard. Also, another interesting fact, when I do my training here in Federal Way, I always run out and back on the same road. This is the farthest I've been down this road because it's the longest run interval I've had so far. Kind of, kind of interesting how running, you know, pushed me further down the road. Normally I would have a lot more walk in between. So, kind of cool. Sure is pretty. Yeah, so far it's working. Um, not quite a minute slower, about 45 seconds off my earlier pace. And I mean, the heart rate is still elevated, but I'm not feeling as bad as I did on that first one. So just goes to show you can control your heart rate by how hard, how much effort you put into your run. So good to know for future reference. All right, let's finish this. All right, let's finish strong. We got this. Yeah. Oh, whew. Yeah. Good run, man, good run. We're gonna cool down. Definitely need it. All right. That's it, it's done. Smashed it, killed it. Don't gotta go back. Uh, I will say, I'm still pretty handy. Usually by now, I'm caught my breath. But, again, it's all these little things I'm learning that cause these issues. So, first and foremost on this one, I went too hard on the first interval. Never really recovered. Tried to slow down the second one. Still did so pretty much that whole training was in zone five, which for me is like 155 heartbeats per minute or above. That's too much. Um, so I gotta work on that. Number two, it's midday, it's hot. Uh, that definitely has an effect, has a toll. Also, very possible I am on day three of an extended fast. Um, that zaps you takes a little energy so uh, in the past I've not really noticed it on the actual exercise 
but I noticed it afterwards and I'm noticing right now. So right now I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I'm hot. So, you know, it's all really good stuff to learn. I feel like leading into my long-term goal of doing a marathon, these are things I have to identify. You know, what if I'm out there at mile 10, mile 15, and I start to feel like this? How do I fix it? How to recover? Good things to know. But anyhow, until day three, which hopefully will be Friday, uh, if everything goes as planned and I got time, if not Saturday. Anyhow, we'll see y'all then. Take care. If you're following along, please give this a like. Comment down to below. Let me know you're watching. Words of encouragement, uh, advice. If you're a runner, whatever. I appreciate it all. Just say hi. So until Friday, y'all take care. Be good. Be kind. Bye now. All right, everybody, here we go. We are on week number six, day number three, which is the last day of the week for the training program. Um, unfortunately, because of the way my work was going, I was not able to do this uh, day's training on Friday, like the plan suggest. So it is Sunday, but I'm getting it done before the week's over find myself back in uh, our home terminal which is federal way basically seattle washington and man it is beautiful out today look at that i'm from the pacific northwest i don't live here anymore but i'm from here we do not get days like this very often and when we do you gotta enjoy it um i think that's true anywhere you live man get out enjoy the weather that kind of all goes hand in hand with this being fit, being healthy. We all need to get up and get out more. But anyhow, here we go. Day three. Uh, this will be the biggest. So no interval today. It's just a flat out run for 25 minutes. That will be the longest run that I've done consecutively since I started this program uh, six weeks ago. So if everything holds true, the training has got me to this point. So I have no doubt that I'll be able to get today done, but I also know it will be work because that's how this plan works. You always get the day done, but at the end of it, you're like, yep, I have work to do that. So anyhow, let's get her done. running just a little bit slower pace than I would normally. That's deliberate, because I'm trying to prepare myself for the fact that, uh, if my watch would stay on, trying to prepare myself for the fact that I gotta run 25 minutes consecutively. Let's see if it works. I'm sure the camera doesn't show it well. It's not much of an incline. But I'm on an incline, and I definitely feel it. That's pretty good for the terrain. You want to throw some flats, downhills, inclines, you know, because that's what the real world's going to be like. Yeah, we're doing it. So, I think I have mentioned in one of my other videos, how when I'm at my works home terminal here in Federal Way, there's a route that I like to run for my train. And it's always an out and back, and it works out perfect. Keeps me close to the yard. It's kind of off the highway, like this, you know, residential. So today, uh, I'm on that same route, but I've passed the point the furthest point I've ever gone where I'm normally turning around and going back. And that's simply because my run interval is longer today. So it puts me down the road further, right? 
and also I decided to try and make it a loop today just because it is such a long interval so we'll see how that works out but this is our new territory that's always enjoyable uh, breaks up the monotony monotony excuse me uh, of your run see something different here's another incline that I normally wouldn't have so good stuff loving it all right let's finish this out strong we got this six weeks of training done it's amazing I'm actually surprised at myself at how well I've been able to do I'm proud of myself for sticking with it and getting it done I gotta tell you this is a great feeling great feeling of accomplishment yep gotta love it couple seconds to go yeah baby yeah baby uh -huh. six weeks I, I, don't, I don't even know what to say other than six weeks ago if you told me that I'd be running for 25 minutes non-stop I would have laughed now yeah I wasn't fast I wasn't setting any records but I ran jog whatever you want to call it the whole time I, I'm so I, I'm just beside myself um, the fact that I'm going to try and do a half marathon or a full marathon this year is really becoming more and more of a reality instead of just a pipe dream um, unfortunately timing with my job may make it difficult to get one in before the year's over because of weather and those kind of things but i have no doubt i'll be ready for one and if i'm able to find one that i can drop in on or actually schedule and do pretty confident right now that i could pull off at least you know for sure a 10k possibly a half marathon i'm going to continue the training when this program is done in two more weeks because this was literally just a couch to 5k um i'm basically there so i'll finish this training and uh i've already looked at some programs that will get me to half marathon level in like another eight weeks so i'm super excited super stoked like i said feeling majorly accomplished uh majorly proud of myself so if you've been following along with this series i really appreciate it uh throw me down a comment words of encouragement words of advice share this with your friends you know the rap uh let's get this out there because i am trying to show and prove that i am living proof that you can go from over 300 pounds and a truck driver where our biggest excuse is we can't get in shape uh, we don't have good options we don't have good food we can't work out we can't whatever and i'm here to tell you it's all excuses uh, if you really want to be healthy and be fit you'll find a way you'll make it work uh, this whole program several times i've actually done my training my run on my 30 minute mandatory break so the only people i think that would struggle uh, our teams and the last week I did run team uh, for over you know about 5,000 miles and I got in one of my workouts that I would have to agree with people is tough um, because those loads usually require the truck doesn't stop uh, and when we do stop it's for fuel maybe a shower maybe a quick bite to eat it definitely doesn't allow for an hour to go out and do the uh, workout but as a solo driver You'll find the time if you want to. I have, I've made it work. So anyhow guys, I'm gonna cut this off right now. Thanks for watching, thanks for following along. If you've been following the series, like I said, give me a comment, give me a thumbs up, share it. Words of encouragement, advice. I appreciate all of it, I appreciate you. So be healthy, be fit, and most of all, be kind. Thank you, bye now.